Thanks, we have guns, we have um, legal expert, you know, we got lawyers, um, gun investment board center. We, you know, again, 10, 15 minutes, give you a chance to hear, and then after, if you want to know who you are, we'll give you a chance to introduce yourself also. Yeah. This young man, Brother Bumani, gave me a call and said, we want you to um, invite him. We have this Garvey Town project. Uh, please um, invite him to see if he come, Brother David. And, um, I'm glad that he did come to talk to us about um, his project. Um, he invested in um, um, some land, and I want him to share with us his goals, his plans, and his aspirations. I present uh, Brother Garadina Gambia. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> Uh, Gabi Town is something that came out of a conference that was held in Barbados in 2001. Um, an organization called GAP, and an elder pointed her finger at me and said, you will. Um, and that's how Gabi Town started. It started as a way for African people to repatriate and have all the protections that a native has. Um, my brother spoke about, the elder here spoke about land. Um, the playing field level, yeah, when it comes to land. Uh, as diaspora Africans, we do not have a lot of the rights that a native son or daughter of the land as. So, Garvey Town was set up so that we could level the playing field. Um, we got just over 300 acres of land uh, for the settlement of 300 diaspora African families. Um, the land has been acquired in such a manner that at the end of a period, our descendants will own it. Um, not lease it, yeah, at the end of a period, our descendants will own it by settlement. That's the only way that we can actually own land. Yeah, otherwise we just have a lease for a period. Um, so we acquired the land, we set up all the structures. Um, we, as the group that was working on it, six of us, we set some kind of ground rules and so on. We have one rule that cannot be changed. After that rule, everything else is the community, the 300 families that are there, will set the rules, yeah? The rule that cannot be changed is Derby Town is a self-sustaining Pan-Africanist community, yeah? Um, it's about us and us alone. There is no discussion about anybody else. We don't care about anybody else. They have their own problems, we have ours. We will deal with ours. Yeah? So, once you accept that, you can become a member of Darby Town. Yeah? That cannot be changed. There is no discussion. It cannot be changed. Yeah? If you acquire land, and you decide you want to leave the land, you build a house, whatever you want to leave it to somebody else. If that person is not one of us, then it will be reacquired by the community for sale to one of us. It cannot be willed to someone who is not one of us. Yeah? Outside of that, it is 300 acres, we've got planning permission, 
for 300 homes. We've got planning permission for a school, uh, for a business centre. Um, we have an arrangement with the families in the area. And we are waiting for all the people who, I don't know they attend conferences, uh, that said they were ready to repatriate. And I've been waiting 15 years, right? Um, and I hear people say they're coming, yeah? And from time to time, I have to go places and I talk to people and yeah, they're ready to come. But it's all pipe dreams, yeah? They're not real, yeah? It's there. And if people want it, it's there. Yeah? Right? Nobody ain't gonna come and tell you move. Nobody ain't gonna come and tell you, oh, this is mine, or whatever. Yeah? Okay? You will govern yourself within the confines of your community. Yeah? Uh, there is no hierarchy, um, with the exception of a little thing that we put in place to make sure that no one can ever change the things that are important. There is no hierarchy. Yeah? Uh, everything goes to a council of elders for decisions on what will happen. Yeah? Uh, the community will take the decisions and the Council of Elders will arbitrate if there is a dispute about it. Uh, that's what Darby Town is. Um, it is there. If you're interested, it is there. The people who want to relocate to Ghana, it is an opportunity to do something in a way that is slightly different, yeah, because it's not based on any European models. Yeah? Um, so, you know, that's what we're about. If you want to know more, I would suggest that you speak to us, you uh, come and visit, yeah? Um, and we can show you some of what we're doing. We are also, we also have what's called affiliate membership, which is for organizations um, who might want to come and do something on one of the um, areas in the project that's set out for doing things apart from people living in, yeah? Um, to provide services or businesses or so on, um, affiliate membership. Um, Yeah, that's, that's about all I will say. The rest will come when people ask questions. Great. Thank you very much. Well, thank you for you know coming uh, at the request, and I'm sure that um, they will have a question for you. Uh, and I'm thankful, because we need land. Uh, when I lived in America, um, the best I could do was get a mortgage. But the mortgage was controlled by who? The bank, you see? And before that, I was renting. So renting, I was giving my monies away, and the mortgage, which was a uh, sophisticated form of renting, I had a 30-year lease, you know? I mean, I was paying the banks every month, 30 years, and then when I got, uh, when I missed a couple of months, they wrote me letters that they were gonna repossess. So anytime you lose your income or cash flow, you may lose your house and that system. It's truly a vampire system, but here you can own without um, the banks uh, being involved at all. Um, we're going to.